Six months ago, I made a video on how to use NTFS drives on Western Digital and Seagate drives for free on Mac OS. But what if you're like me and you have a lot of different drives or you deal with a lot of different drives in your work or study? That is where the focus of today's video comes in, iBoySoft NTFS for Mac. Now, full disclosure, I was given a free copy of the software to check out and review, and they also gave me 10 free keys to give away. So stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how to enter. We'll start with the most important part, the cost. There's two options here, $19.95 for a yearly subscription or a lifetime license for $49.95 currently on offer, which means after two and a half years, it's pretty much paid for itself. It also has the most features compared to the other software out there. It has formatting options, verify and repair disks, which is important to me as a lot of my colleagues tend to just pull their drives out of their computers without injecting first. So I'm often handed drives that need repairing. Fast transfer speeds using the NTFS drivers, auto mount, and it's super easy to install and uninstall, which might not seem important, but I uninstalled my Paragon NTFS software to install this software, and Paragon NTFS for Mac still has extensions running on my Mac days after I uninstalled it. And now I have to go through a whole process to get it off my MacBook. The install process is really easy. Click the link in the description down below, download the DMG, double click the DMG and use the install package. Once that's done, enter your license and you're activated. Plug in your NTFS drive and click the green enable writable button to write files to the drive. If you want to enjoy faster speeds, then click install NTFS driver, follow the on-screen instructions and restart your computer. So let's take a look at the software itself. The UI design is pretty simple, basic. Something I love about it is it's very basic. You plug in your drive, you click the green button to enable it to read and write, press open to open the drive, or you can do it in Finder yourself if you want. You can unmount the drive, do the first aid, which I said is very important to me. You can verify and check disks without having to switch to a Windows machine. And you can erase it as an NTFS drive and make a new NTFS drive out of it as well. It also has this bit here that says fix grayed out folders and files. Now I had this problem in one of my drives recently and I couldn't figure out a way to fix it, but I kind of did manage to just move all of the folders and files out. And it, it was a whole process. So if this actually works, that is fantastic. I don't actually have a drive with that on right now. So I can't really test it, but that is a fantastic feature if it's there and it wasn't on the Paragon. Uh, NTFS that I was using before. I really wish I, I had that earlier because it took me two to three hours to get that all fixed. It's also drive speeds are pretty good. I'm going to take this four gigabyte uh, video file and just drop it in. And you'll see it will take a, it says less than a minute to drop that in. And that's a pretty substantial speed. I do like that. I don't like that Mac doesn't have the, uh, the same information that Windows has, but it is copying that over. I can't get the exact speed, but it is pretty quick. That's all you can really say about this software. If you have any problems, you can email support. There's a button right there. There's an FAQ help center and a little chat icon as well. Good bit of software. It has a couple of features that I've noticed that wasn't on the free Paragon one. If you are like me and you get a lot of NTFS drives, like I said, I work with a company that uses mainly Windows computers and I have a MacBook at home. So whenever I'm working from home and I have to take some drives home and things like that, I gen generally get given NTFS drives and this software does make my life a whole lot easier. So if it does for you, I also said at the beginning of the video that the company have given me 10 free codes to give away. So I will be giving them away once a week in the comments down below. So all you've got to do is, well, you don't have to like the video. You don't have to subscribe to the channel because there's no way of me checking that. I will be picking a random comment once a week from the date this video has been published. And all you have to do is type the word giveaway in your comment and I will find it. And that's all for this video. Please like, comment and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments if you have any other software that you want me to check out. And uh, have a wonderful day.